Hey guys, welcome back to Bro and Sis Math Club. Today's topic is what are points and rays? So let's begin by taking a look at the definition of a point, okay? So a point represents a location on a graph or a grid. So here we have an example of a graph, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and plot a random point on this graph. So my first point, let's say, is going to be over here. And I'm going to call this point, point A. And my next point is going to be up here, and I'm going to call this point, point B, okay? Now, how will I find the location of point A and point B? Well, if we go ahead and take a look at our rules and steps, so it says rule for finding a point on a graph, okay? To find the location of a point on a graph, find the x and y values of the coordinate. So first we need to find the x and y axis. So remember this, the x axis is the horizontal line, so this over here is going to be our x axis. And the line that's going long ways or vertical is our y-axis, okay? So now we want to find our coordinates for the x and y axis, okay? So first we need to see how many, um, what is the value of point A for the x-axis. So as you can see, for point A, it goes two places to the right on the x-axis, okay? And then it goes two places up for the y-axis, so this is where it intersects at point A. So the coordinates for point A are going to be written as parentheses x comma y, okay? So for point A, we're going to write, so point A is going to be parentheses and then the x value, so the x value is 2, and then the y value, which is also 2, and then parentheses closes it out, okay? So we'll read this as 2, comma, 2, okay? So the coordinates for point A are 2, comma, 2. So now let's go ahead and find the coordinates for point B, okay? So same thing. First, we need to find the x-axis value. So we know that it goes 9 places to the right, and then it goes 4 places up, and it intersects at point B. So the um, coordinates for point B are going to be first the x-axis value, so parentheses 9, comma, the y-axis value, which is 4, so it's going to become 9, comma, 4. So we, know, we now know the location of points A and B, so the coordinates are 2, comma, 2, and 9, comma, 4, okay? So that's all for uh, for what are points, okay? So now let's go ahead and learn a little bit about rays. So let's scroll down. Okay, so now, what is the definition of a ray? Well, rays begin at a given point and go on for infinity, okay? So rays are going to begin at a given point. So let's see, the given point is called point A. And then this ray is going to go on for infinity, okay? Sorry, let me re make that over. It's going to go on for infinity, okay? So now let's say for in between this ray, point B occurs over here, okay? How can we write this, okay? Well, we can write this as ray. And then remember this, the given point or, or where the ray starts is actually called the end point, which may sound weird, but it is called the end point, okay? And the point that comes in between or which in which the ray is headed, so in this case, it's point B, is called the direction. So when you write it out, you're going to write ray, and then you're going to write your end point first. So in this case, it's A. And then you're just going to write the direction right next to it. So in this case, it's B. So ray AB, now remember this. When you write your endpoint and your direction, always, it doesn't matter which way the ray is headed, it always has a small ray on top that is headed to the direction of right, okay? It's always going to be headed right, okay? So now let's say we have another example here. So our given point in this case is going to be E, okay? And now this ray is going to go on for infinity, and in between we have point F, okay? 
So now we know that the given point is going to be our end point. And the point that comes in between or in which it's the ray is headed in direction of is going to be called the direction. And when we write this, we're going to write ray. And then first your end point, so it's going to be E. And then your direction, which is F. And remember, even though this ray is headed to the left, we're still going to have, because it's the rule of mathematics, that you're still going to put a ray on top of the endpoint and the red direction, which is headed to the right, okay? So remember this, the given point is going to be called the endpoint. The point that comes in between or in which the ray is headed of in the direction of is called the direction. When you write it out, you're going to write ray and then you're going to write your end point, then your direction right next to each other. And then you're going to have a small ray on top that's always going to be headed to the direction of right. Okay, so it's going to be headed right. Okay, so that's all I have for this video. I hope you guys learned something, and if you want to find extra practice problems on this topic or any other topic, please feel free to visit our website at brownsysmacclub.com, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!